today I'm doing another one of my uh, favorite demos and if I was a fan of uh, coffee flavored liqueurs I'd probably say it might be one of my favorite drinks as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a process known as solutal convection. Um, it's kind of similar to thermal convection except there's no temperature involved. And so to do this demonstration you need um, a glass petri dish or if you're doing it as a bar trick you can use a shot glass or a martini glass works okay. You need some uh, Tia Maria or Kahlua or some other um, heavily spirited liqueur. Alcohol hole content needs to be kind of high. Smells yummy, probably doesn't taste very good. And you need some thickened cream. Um, if the cream's too runny, it doesn't work. And if the cream's too thick, it doesn't work either. It's kind of a fussy little demo, this one. So let's uh, come in a little bit closer and we can see what's going on. So we start with a, a clean glass Petri dish and our Tia Maria and you want to pour a little bit in. You need to make sure that you cover the surface of whatever you're using. Um, if you're doing this with a uh, in a bar, a 30ml shot glass is usually pretty good. Um, and so then what you want to do is start adding cream to the surface of the Tia Maria and this is the really tricky part of the demo. Um, if the cream layer is too thick it doesn't work and if the cream layer is too thin it doesn't work terribly well either. And what you want to do um, is you want to try and get little droplets of cream onto the surface. And so if you've got something to help you here, like a swizzle stick or an eyedropper or something, um, you'll have a much easier time than if you, for example, just try to pour it straight out of a glass of uh, um, cream. So if you put a whole pile of drop little droplets in there, what you want to try and do is get, you know, on the order of about 50% to 70% surface coverage enough that some of the droplets start to join together but that you don't cover the entire surface of the liquid. And you want to spread them out a little bit so that they cover uh, most of the surface as well. That's probably enough. So if you have a close look at the um the Tia Maria and cream now, you'll notice that it's broken up into a number of regions. You have areas where the cream is kind of thick and you have regions where the cream has sort of come off the surface of the alcohol and you've got bare alcohol. And if you have a look at the very edges of these regions, you can see three of them just inside the shot. One just here, one just here, and one just there. And if you have a look at the very edges, you'll notice that there's little bits of cream sitting inside the uh, alcohol and they're rolling round and round and round in circles. I'll just let you watch for a second and then we'll uh, come back from the shot and explain what's going on. Okay, so what's going on here? Let's have a look at convection first as you'd normally see it. What you have is you have a hot surface and you have a cold surface and what happens is you have a little pocket of liquid in here and when it gets hot it expands which means it's got a lower density than the rest of the fluid around it so it floats to the top. And when it floats to the top it passes its heat out of the, uh, out of the liquid and of course when it cools back down it's, it, it contracts, its density increases again and so it becomes heavier than the liquid around it and so it sinks back down to the bottom. When it gets back to the bottom it picks up more heat and as it picks up more heat it expands, its density becomes low and it floats to the top. And so normally in convection you'll have a hot source and a cold source and what you'll get is these little rolls of um, air or moisture or whatever's ca whatever the fluid is that's carrying the heat and these rolls will go round and round and round until it eliminates the heat gradient between the bottom and the top. So now let's have a look at what's going on with the uh, Tia Maria in the cream. So we've got uh, Tia Maria in liquid form in here and so we've got little um, islands of cream forming up on the surface. It's basically just fat. Now the simple explanation for this, which isn't quite correct, is that um, the cream sits on the surface because it's got a lower density than the alcohol, which makes sense, it floats. And so what happens right at these edges here is that uh, you have a, a bit of a mixture of alcohol and cream mixed together. And um, if you take some packet of this uh, um, fat dissolved in alcohol, it will rise to the surface. And when it rises to the surface, it, because alcohol is a volatile substance, it can evaporate off. And so you can consider that little packet of liquid and its um, alcohol content goes down. Okay? And so you can say that that causes it to become more dense. It drops back down into the, uh, into, into the liquid. 
where it, it now increases its alcohol content again because it's exposed to alcohol on all sides and so that makes it become less dense it rises again to the surface and this process goes round and round and round as long as you have the ability for the alcohol to come off at the surface okay and this is why it doesn't work if you have too much cream if you coat the entire surface with cream the alcohol can't evaporate and the process stops so if you look at this from above you can see little islands of uh, Tia Maria sitting in a, in a basically in a sea of cream and if you look right at the edges here you can see this process that goes round and round in circles happening on the surface here right at the edges where the alcohol and the cream is basically able to mix and form a solution where the concentration of fat in alcohol or the concentration of alcohol in fat can change. The real explanation is actually a little bit more complicated than that. Um, it, has, it involves a few surface tension effects and so forth and um, I'll see if I can leave some notes on, on, on a website somewhere so that you can have a look at um, um, the full details if you're really curious about exactly how it works. But at the end of the day, it's basically a convection process. You've got some non-equilibrium situation with a fluid that can change its density in response to that. And as long as you have that non-equilibrium situation, your fluid will flow round and round in circles in order to try and um, restore the system to equilibrium.